Mr. Liuing, the fear I think that is being expressed is you've got a China, Russia, Iran, Pakistan axis or China, Pakistan, and then you've got a China, Russia, Iran axis uh, building up. But you're dealing with a country which many believe is reckless, which is supporting terror proxies in the region. Is this in China's interest to be playing this card? Is this China also getting into a situation that can spiral out of control? Well, I think, first of all, uh, it's in China's every interest to see a peaceful Middle East, as I said earlier, because it is an important conduit uh, of oil and energy and other resources uh, for China uh, over land. Um, and, um, and China is heavily dependent on that. But as far as the, um, the apparent um, uh, partnership uh, between China, Iran and Russia, there's not very much of China's doing is, in fact, caused by um, the American aggressiveness against uh, these three countries, making um, Russia is, is, is an enemy, making mm -hmm. China is arch enemy, and, and of, of course, um, making Iran is enemy as well by tearing up the, um, the peace deal. Um, so I think that the, uh, pushing these three um, um, countries together to form a kind of axis is really uh, Americans uh, doing, and that is fatal to American interests um, that's forewarned by um, Americans' uh, foreign policy doyan, the late Brzezinski, uh, in his China chessboard. I mean, his China chessboard um, uh, book, um, um, and, and he did warn uh, this kind of fatal alliance, um, fatal to American interests. Right. But unfortunately, that's what the American has, has been successful in, 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 in doing. No, um, you're, you know, you're, so you're, you're putting, the, the, you're the, putting the, the ball reality. in the American court, while Iran, which has been exporting this terror, uh, also needs to be looked no. at. With, you know, the, the scrutiny needs to also be on Tehran. But Rizwan, I want to understand, in Islamabad, is there growing anger against Iran? And the Shia-Sunni conflicts, are they playing out in any way? Is there anger on the streets of pa uh, Pakistan today against what Iran did? yesterday and is that the reason why pakistan was virtually forced to retaliate surely pakistan well, is in no condition to get into any kind of skirmish with iran well in pakistan there is a huge anger especially amongst people people actually wanted a reaction to this people of pakistan are very sentimental when it is any attack on pakistan soil pakistani people question we have a huge military even in the region we have nuclear weapons why don't we react i mentioned before now in terms of this when it comes to, you said, the Sunni and Shia, when there are some religious tensions, they are different from political tensions. We need to look them separately. Yes, if this kind of thing happens, when there are attacks on Shia shrines and there are targeted killing of Shias, there is an anger. Right. In Pakistan, on the other side, Iranians, they react to that. And on the other side, if there is an attack on Sunnis, then Pakistanis also react to that. This, they are, there are two conflicts. One is... Religious one is political. This so one you're is seeing political. this as a political conflict? I would like conflict. to add one thing here. Yes. I would quickly. like to add one thing here. Now, Pakistan's army chief visited Washington, D.C. recently, last month. And when he came back, we were trying to follow what has been concluded there. Things were not clear. They were opaque. We could not try to understand. Some of the political commentators, they have an opinion already. When America went to Afghanistan, they needed Pakistan. And now America wants to contain... This Iranian influence, once again, they need Pakistan. This is a cause of concern on some quarters in that, Pakistan. That's very interesting. Because that's a America, very interesting Pakistan. suggestion, which I want to... I have a minute to you, KC Singh, to reflect on what Rizwan is saying. Would America use Pakistan to contain Iran? Well, in this case, uh, the attack has come from Iran first. It's not come from Pakistan. And as I said, the Baluch, both countries have a Baluch problem. It's not that Baluchis are there only in Pakistan mm -hmm. and Iran doesn't have them or the other way around. Each has a problem with their Baluch population, which has separatist elements in it. Mm -hmm. And they've been supporting each other's separatist elements uh, to contain their own problem. So it's more, I would see it as a Baluch problem, which has spun out of control. Right. I don't think the Americans or the Pakistanis would play this game in this manner in which uh, they start uh, distracting Iran in any way. Because Iran, in any case, is not directly involved in this, nor okay. does Pakistan wants to get directly into a fight with Iran. I think this is just incidental, which has come from the bombing in Kerman. And that's why there were three attacks. We should not see the Baluch attack in isolation. Iranians have attacked three targets okay. in Syria, in Iraq, and in Baluchistan. 